What's going on everybody? Matt Mramer here from cruise.com and today I was lucky enough to get a chance to check out the beautiful new Norwegian Bliss here in Miami. Now obviously one day is not enough to see everything that this beauty has to offer, but I did my best getting around the ship and I wanted to bring you guys along for a little tour. So what do you say? Let's go check out Norwegian Bliss. So in part one of our Norwegian Bliss tour series, we took a look at some of the things that were new on board the ship. And today, we dive into some of the extensive dining options on board the Bliss, and we'll start it off by sticking with that theme and talking about two venues that are new to the ship. First off is the Observation Lounge, and this is a gorgeous addition to the Bliss that's going to be so perfect for seeing Alaska, the Panama Canal, really anywhere that's naturally beautiful. The panoramic views are really unparalleled, but one of the coolest things for me was that the lounge kind of doubles almost as an extension of the Garden Cafe, which sits one deck above. Now, anybody who's sailed with Norwegian before knows that the Garden Cafe is the buffet restaurant on board. And with a bar and a buffet of its own down in the observation lounge, it's really easy to imagine yourself spending hours there with a book or a nice cup of coffee and really just enjoying the surroundings as they pass you by. Another new dining offering comes on deck six at Q Texas Smokehouse, which is the first barbecue concept on board any Norwegian ship. And the space has a very genuine Western feel to it, and the decor does a really good job of capturing the Texas ambiance that I think NCL was trying to go for. Now one venue that might sound new to many cruisers is the local, but in reality the local is really just a new name for the Oceans which many would recognize from other Norwegian ships. The local is the round the clock sports bar where you can always get food and kind of a casual environment that overlooks the atrium of the ship. Norwegian also kept many of the popular restaurant concepts from throughout their fleet on the Bliss, including the main dining rooms of Taste and Savor on Deck 6, and the gorgeous Manhattan Room, which has beautiful views off the back of the ship and occupies the aft section of Deck 7. Now, directly above the Manhattan Room on Deck 8 are Cagney Steakhouse and Los Lobos, which is a modern Mexican concept. Now, both Cagney's and Los Lobos overlook the dance floor of the Manhattan Room below, and with seating on the waterfront and at the very aft of the ship with gorgeous floor-to-ceiling windows, both restaurants have just spectacular views. Now, two other restaurants also boast waterfront seating options, which are La Cucina, and that is a wonderful Italian restaurant which is popular on many of the NCL ships, and Ocean Blue, which is a spectacular seafood restaurant which has a great menu offering everything from snapper to surf and turf. Teppanyaki is another popular specialty option found on board, and that's a Japanese hibachi grill that just really makes for a great family dinner option. Another bonus of teppanyaki is that there is a $29.95 nominal fee uh, as opposed to the a la carte pricing which is offered at many of the specialty restaurants. Food Republic offers an airy ambiance and a modern feel that kind of matches with the multicultural menu that they offer. The Bliss also features a Margaritaville on Deck 17 with open air seating and many of the favorites that you'll recognize from the popular Jimmy Buffett brand. Now directly across from Margaritaville on Deck 17 lies Le Bistro, which is a fancy French restaurant with a very nice champagne lounge area. Last but not least, let's talk about the suites on board. Dolce Gelato and The Bake Shop are located on Deck 8 between Los Lobos and Ocean Blue, and they're essentially the same shop. They occupy the same space, with Dolce's storefront being located on the waterfront outside, and The Bake Shop being located just inside the automatic doors inside. Coco's, which is another new concept for NCL, offers chocolates and other decadent desserts on Deck 6. And The Bliss also became the first Norwegian Cruise Line ship to feature a Starbucks on board. So all you Frappuccino lovers out there can finally get your cruise coffee fix. So as you can see, the Bliss has so much to offer and we're not done checking her out yet. So be sure to check back next week as we dive into the bars and lounges on board and take a look at what kind of fun you can expect on the Norwegian Bliss. Don't forget to subscribe to our Cruise.com YouTube page so you never miss out on any of our great content or the unbeatable cruise deals that we post each and every week. We'll see you back next week as we dive into the bars and the entertainment on board the Norwegian Bliss.